welcome back viewers after discussing local variables now uh, it's time to discuss global variables so first of all I will just uh, make a copy of this file save is and I will name it global underscore variables here I want to tell you one more thing that uh, whenever you are saving a file in PHP which has more than two words I mean more than one word so you just add a uh, I mean a, a semicolon here underscore here sorry semicolon or underscore but don't make space between two words dot PHP global underscore variables dot PHP save uh, I will remove this all these were actually local variables local variable mean that we create with any name we want here by our service now I have just removed them all now global variables are these variables which are uh, which starts with dollar sign then underscore and then like this uh, get and dollar underscore files and these are in capitals capital letters this should be noted request underscore uh, I mean cookie and there are many global variables like this you know there are many more uh, like server so basically these variables are predefined these are also called global variables global arrays super globals so these are actually predefined in PHP library so you have to write them same as they are in the library and you can get any value from the forms in f inside the forms we will mostly use these global variables basically to get the data from the form fields so you have to actually understand them and therefore I'm telling you in a separate lecture about these uh, I mean variables so for example I will create a simple form here about the PHP first of all I will add the HTML doc type HTML5 document type and then HTML now I am just adding a proper structure of HTML page head this is the basic structure of HTML PHP tutorial this is just the title of the page in HTML and head section close the head section actually appears on the top of the browser tab now from here I will start body then body close and then at the end HTML close this is the very very basic structure of HTML document now inside the body tag I will add a form tag form tag and its action will be the same page global underscore variables dot PHP a method will be post so this is very important here the form take this is the form take and this is the closing form take and the above one is the starting and this I have written in HTML because form is an HTML take and there are only two required attributes which you can add to a form take you can add more and more attributes but though these two are the basic attributes you should add the first one is action action means on which page this form should go and should uh, act I mean on should uh, process so I said the same page don't go to any other page we can also send this form to any other page where we can actually uh, use our PHP logics or PHP script to get data and to display something back from the server in the method which may either be post or get so in this case I'm just saying okay post so post is the method method of this form that's mean uh, the data we will get using the post uh, method or the post PHP global array or global variable so that's nice now the simple thing is to add an input take inside the form take because in inside the form HTML take we always add input takes the first one input take type will be text that's mean this will have a text field and its name will be uh, for example uh, email 
this is very important because we always target the name of the input tag to get the data using PHP below and I will say nothing else just will add a button input type is equal to submit which is a button its name will be something like uh, sub and value will be submit this value is basically the text that will appear on the button basically so we have just added two input tags inside the form the first one input type is text and it's we have added a name email so we can target this in the global variable called post because this form has a post method and the second is just the submit button so when someone clicks that button so we can get the value from this input uh, that is so simple so simple form and one more thing is that these input tags are single tags in HTML so they don't need to be closed here so they are single tags and always add it into form tag now here I will say ok get dollar underscore post and inside this two square brackets this small square brackets we add two single commas and then we give the name of the field I mean this input take we have given a name to this like email so you will get that value using this super global array or global variable now we can echo this out basically control s to save and come to this page php tutorials enter that and you will see here global underscore variables dot php this is the page we have there okay now see this is the uh, I mean the input take and this is the submit button let's say email undefined email and that in this I said echo post email name email ok uh, there is no issue in this method is that in this ok fine ok so we say we'll add a condition here if a set I mean if this using the post method in PHP we are saying using the post method if this button is click which name is actually sub I will be telling you later about this if statement and is set and things like that but just forget that for now just focus on this thing this post variable I said if this button is clicked then get the value from this input take using PHP global variable called dollar underscore post in capital letter control s to save now and refresh this page you don't see any anything like that I mean the error that was generating by PHP now this is the simple text box or you can say the text field input where whatever we can we want to write we can write and this is the submit button when this is clicked that this code will be processed in PHP that's as so simple as that now if I write something like for example my email okay I have added this now when I click this it has displayed the email here below on the page this is now dynamic I can also say echo and then say your I can add a b tag your email is and then a b tag close and then concatenate with dot sign I can concatenate this with dot sign now I control s once again I will refresh the page now this time I will say John Doe at gmail.com say submit so it is saying your email is John Doe at gmail.com so that is coming from there now if we change the post method here to get from post to get and control s to save now once again we refresh the page 
and we write something like uh, you know my email submit it will show nothing because we have get method in the form but we have given I mean the post method here so we have to change this to get variable which is also the variable I mean global variable so control s to save now again come here refresh the page and now I will write something any e email submit so actually uh, you have to save this in something like uh, a variable when you are working with get you have to save this inside a variable here like create a new variable local variable as I told you in previous lecture oh sorry we don't need anything like this this ok just we'll change this method to get as well I mean fs set because fs set was post so now we have changed that to fs set get so we can get this value now control s to save come here and press the page and just add a, an email submit eh? your email is awpreshan at gmail.com this is basically you have to add the get method when you want or the post method you uh, you want and files is used for images and request is used for different purpose and server is used for getting the server details and things like that so basically I hope I wanted to actually explain the global variables in PHP to you so when later we are using these uh, variables in projects and different forms and different things so you cannot be confused with them so after the global uh, variables now in the next lecture we will talk about arrays in PHP stay tuned